What is good LG crew, you already know how we do, this is the game right here, aka Energy Bricks, back with another video, so you already know how it does bro. Um, recently, you know, I did that uh, RB World 2 tutorial, um, you guys didn't seem to, uh, really that RB World 2, uh, how, like how to use your controls and stuff, you guys didn't seem to, uh, uh, you guys were kind of confused with it and stuff, um, I'm just gonna basically show you guys, uh, how to use it uh, or how to install it reinstall it because I got uh, my new computer basically I uh, had to um, what am I thinking my, my storage broke and I had to basically refix everything so I'm just gonna show you guys so um, let me go ahead so first things first what you need to do is just go to here um, and go to I'll go ahead and put it in the description too it's in my old video Oh, okay, right here, <clears throat> right here. Alternate uh, SCP tool. Let me see. Uh, alternate SCP tool. Download. All you gotta do is uh, download this. I already have it downloaded. Um, so download that. It's gonna actually give you everything that you actually need. So don't worry about that. Um, let's see. It's in my storage. So just go ahead and find it and uh, go ahead. If you can run it as an administrator, go ahead and do that. If you don't, then that's okay. It's gonna do something real quick. It's gonna show me a black screen right now, and then here we go. Um, so we're just gonna go through all this. So the prerequisites, wizard. Um, so the first things first, you need to make sure that your controller, the one that you want to use, I'm gonna put in both, so you guys can actually see. It might kind of like freak out. So I'm gonna put both uh, RB or uh, PS4 and uh, PS3 controllers in. If you do have an Xbox controller, you don't really need it because uh, Xbox and Microsoft already work together. So I'm gonna go ahead. Plug in both of them first. Plug in that one. Plug in the, this one. I'm just gonna wait for it to uh, just because it has some like uh, software that it downloads first. So I'm just gonna wait for it to download. And um, just wait a couple of, couple of uh, seconds, I guess. I'm gonna give it like eight more seconds. Uh, okay, I think we're good now. So it's gonna say welcome to the prerequisites of the wizard um, And you're basically just gonna Install most of these things. So if you don't have these things, then I would actually download them. I'm just gonna download them just in case um, And most mo most of the time you're actually gonna have them already. So here we go. Just click on next and uh, Just gonna let it download and I'm actually not I'm not I'm not even trying to edit this right now So I'm just gonna show you guys like the full um how it's gonna be made and stuff, so don't worry about that. Or like how how you're, well, how you're supposed to download it and stuff, so don't worry about that. So you go through this process right here, and it's, you get you get everything basically, and you install everything. And sometimes it's actually gonna tell you like, yeah, but you have already installed it and stuff. So retry. Some are in the use. So uh, I'm reboot in the at the end of the installation. So so I cancel the exit setup. So I'm actually gonna. I'm actually gonna stop this real quick and then I'm gonna go back and show you guys or I don't I don't think we even need this um, but most of the time you already have C++ so if you already have C++ go ahead and just ignore it I guess Let's see if this works this is 2010 um, most of them are like 2013 2016 even so that's, in, that's complete right there. All I gotta do is just restart later right there. And then it goes on to the next one. So you go ahead and install this. So this one is for um, just audio, I guess. So I'm just gonna ignore that. So it'll say it'll require a reboot at the end. Um, I guess just reboot your, reboot your computer. I'm gonna do that, and uh, I'm just gonna edit this real quick. I'm not even gonna try to put anything. So that's done. Restart later. So you go through all of these, and uh, see as you can see, this one you already have. I already have it. 
Yes, because I already have it. I mean, why would I you know, repair it or anything? This one I already have too, so I'm just gonna close that. And here we go. So after this, you're gonna go to this part, and it'll say, uh, you must agree to blah, 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 yeah, 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 chill, 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 chill. So yeah, you agree and stuff like that. Um, if you do have Bluetooth, go ahead and uh, add that. I would just uh, pick up these things right here, just because, um, I don't know, just use it, I guess. Boy. Anyways, you go hit click install, and it's gonna go through all these processes and stuff. Um, don't worry, this is not a virus, I promise you guys. I've using this, I've used this so many times. I, I gave it to my cousin, AJ and stuff. And after this, you don't click finish, you actually go to run driver installer. So make sure that your controllers are plugged in and everything. And here it is. So this is the part where like people mess up on. Um, I would just click on this just in case. Um, but yeah, so install Bluetooth. I don't have Bluetooth on my uh, computer, so after here, you try to find it, right? So I already have it right here. So install DualShock 3. This is PlayStation 3, so you click on that. And the wireless controller is the uh, PlayStation 4 controller, so let's see if I'm correct. Yeah, so after that, all you do is just click install, and all the. And you're just gonna click on here. Always trust Bruce James. I don't know who Bruce James is, but you're gonna click install. And it's gonna do all these things, and it's just right there starting driver installation. This might take up to five minutes. Um, I'm actually gonna not reboot yet. If this actually works without, oh, there it goes. So if this actually works, if both of them actually work, I'm gonna. Uh, if if both of them work, like without using the, uh, without having to reboot, then I'll probably just go ahead. Let me go ahead and try it out. I'm gonna go to RV World 2 right now, as of right now. I'm uh, I'm going to unplug. I'm going to unplug the let's do the uh let's do the playstation 4 controller first so i'm just gonna honest or i'm just gonna and put it back in so here we are our world 2 as you can see click on play and uh make sure the volume is turned off so i don't get a uh copyrighted stuff like that just waiting let's see make sure yep okay so if I even try to move it, there we go. It's working. See? So I, I just press the R, the uh, the right stick, and when it locks into like that, then you know that it works. So I'm gonna go in and actually show you guys that this uh, the uh, PS3 uh, controller works. The PS4 controller works. So this is very, very more, a lot more detailed than it uh, used to be. Um, I'm gonna. I would. I, re I would recommend you uh, reboot your computer after this. Just, just, just to be sure, stuff that everything works and stuff, and you don't want to you know, break your computer or anything. But uh, yeah, just make sure you download those things right there. That's all you need to do. It gives you the prerequisites, which is awesome. All right. So I'm gonna go to my gym and just test this out, and then I'm gonna exit out and then use my PS3 controller to show you that both work so I'm using this right now it's gonna be blinking right now which is fine I don't know how to turn that off if you do go ahead and put it in the comment section below I do not know how so I'm legit gonna be using my PS4 controller right now as you can see I'm in the gym and here we go show you guys that it actually works oh, oh this don't work so it does connect but I'm gonna <laughs> have to reboot, so I'll go ahead and reboot. Let me just try if my uh, PS3 controller works, just 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 in case. If that doesn't work, then I would I would do a reboot. So I'll go ahead and edit this video, even though it's really really uh, easy to easy to do. So as you can see, the PS3 controller works perfectly fine. So if you do have a PS3 controller, you don't even have to reboot it or anything, and it's gonna glitch out just just a tiny bit. Um, so don't worry about that. So there we go. This the PS3 controller works. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, restart my computer, and then I'll go ahead and get back to you guys. So yeah. All right, I am back. Uh, my PS4 controller. So let's make sure this actually works. If this doesn't work, then uh, I would just go ahead and invest in a PS3 controller because they're really cheap and. Uh, just, you can just find them on Amazon or at Walmart even. So uh, let's just let's go ahead and make sure this works. So we know that it it locks in, which is great. Um, to make sure you also have the, the uh, SCP tools, which is, that's that's what it's called. Uh, always start up 
it might take a while for your computer to load that's fine um but yeah um so i'm going into our world 2 right now got the ps4 controller here <clears throat> and like i know for you guys like ds4 windows takes a while because you have to remap everything and stuff for SCP tools, it's just really quick. You don't have to. It basically converts the PS4 controller to an Xbox One controller, and that's the like basis of it. Because it's really simple. You don't have to do a lot. Um, so yeah, hopefully this works. We had to restart. Uh, if this doesn't work, then uh, <laughs> I mean we we, we try. I, I tried my best, at least. So and there we go. The PS4 controller works, as you can see. I am moving it around so you do have to reboot your computer if you want to use a ps4 controller i recommend not using a ps4 controller because when you start running it'll do this like you'll get used to like holding the l3 button so which makes you pick so yeah so it works there you go guys uh make sure you like this video comment subscribe if you guys are new uh, thank you guys so much for watching this is luke right here aka andrix signing out peace hope y'all have a blessed day a weekend and uh, i'll be live streaming on martin luther king so make sure you guys are stay tuned for that make sure you turn notification bells bro and all for new my subscribers welcome to the lg crew you already know how to do man all right peace y'all